what is a scatter diagram? There are seven basic quality management tools for planning, monitoring, and controlling processes to improve quality-related issues within the organization. These are Fishbone Diagram Check Sheet Control Chart Histogram Pareto Chart Scatter Diagram Stratification a scatter graph is a type of diagram which demonstrates the relationship between two variables for a group of numerical data. It is used for process improvement to illustrate the relationship between a component of a process on one axis and the quality defect on the other axis. How to draw a scatter diagram step by step you can draw a scatter diagram with two variables, usually, the first variable is under the control of the researcher and the second variable depends on the first one. The independent variables which affect the dependent ones are typically plotted along the horizontal axis and the dependent variables are plotted along the vertical axis. The independent variable affects the dependent variable, therefore, the independent variable is also known as the control parameter. Sometimes both variables may be independent. In that case, the scatter graph demonstrates the level of correlation between them. In other words, it helps to determine how closely the variables are related. There are four steps to be followed while drawing a scatter diagram. Step 1. Determine the issue, collect and categorize the data to be analyzed. Step 2. Draw the vertical and horizontal axis and plot each variable on the graph. Step 3. Determine the type of correlation. Step 4. Determine the root cause of the problem by interior pirating results. Let's review an example for better understanding. A health and safety manager collects data for the two variables below in order to understand the relationship between the number of accidents and long working hours within a construction project. Number of accidents Working hours Then he plots the data in a scatter plot by assigning the working hours to the horizontal axis and the number of accidents to the vertical axis. The scatter graph of all the data helps him to understand the relationship between the two variables. He notices that as the working hours increases, the number of accidents also increase. Working hours is the independent data and the number of accidents depends on the working hours. Correlation Correlation is used to define the relationships between the variables. In other words, correlation shows how the variables relate to each other. Scatter diagrams can be categorized according to the slope of the data points. Three types of correlation. Positive, negative, and no correlation may be shown in the diagrams based on the data set and variables. Scatter diagram with no correlation. If there is no possible relationship between the variables, the correlation type is be called, no correlation. Also, it can be named as zero correlation type. The two variables are not linked. In that case, you cannot draw any line through them. For example, air temperature and shoe size have no correlation, as the air temperature increases, shoe size is not affected. Scatter diagram with negative correlation. In this type of correlation one variable increases as the other variable decreases. For example, if the speed increases, travel time to a destination decrease. Scatter diagram with positive correlation. If there is a positive correlation between the variables, this means that if one variable increases the other one increases, and if one of them decreases the other one decreases. For example as the speed of a turbine increases, the amount of electricity that is generated increases. It is obvious that scatter diagrams have some limitations. 
On the other hand, when used in the right way, they are a great tool for overviews and showing patterns between some datasets.